Okay, in this uh, first step of the video overviews, I want to give you uh, some of the basic tools that exist within Navisworks. Just take you through how to bring information in, how to look through the selection tree, create some managed sets, and then find items. So in the Home tab, to bring data in, of course, you use the Append tool. Navisworks will read over 56 different file formats. My personal preference is to always export it out from the authoring tool as an NWC. So tools like Revit will do this, or in this instance of this model, uh, I've even brought in cranes from 3ds Max, and these were exported out as an FBX. So you can bring in the data, you can also merge information in as well. The powerful tools we have here though to navigate around the model is the selection tree and the sets. So uh, with these, we have all the data that's been appended into the model, and when we select on certain components in the selection tree, it will highlight the models in red. We can also do a deeper dive through the model. We have what's called a parent and child relationship in the model. So you can see here, this is the parent component for the ninth floor. And then we have all these other items that are listed on this floor. And we can go right down into the basic solid element of that model. And because it's come from Revit, it actually recognizes all the information. So you can very quickly uh, go through this and find what you need by going through this selection tree. The next thing we have here is the sets. And this is where you can start to manage some of the sets. So what I've got here, for example, for the crane, which I'll be showing in a later uh, overview, is how to uh, animate the crane. And what I need to do here to animate the crane is to create two selection sets. So if I just close up my selection tree here, and we'll just look at the main uh, crane, which is actually an NWD. Uh, it's an NWD because it's got animated components within it. What I've done here though to control those components is I've created a crane rotate for uh, all the items here along the crane boom, and then a crane base for the tower component. And this allows me to manage it when it comes to animator. So these are one of the tools where you can start to uh, basically group all the information as needed and then you can use it for uh, other searchable components, connecting it to timelines, etc. The uh, item I, I want to uh, finish up with here is the find item tool. Let's say you've got a data set that's come from a non-Autodesk application and the selection tree comes in and it's not very clear, it's not very organized and you need to find certain components. So what we can do here is we can use the find items tool to find all the items that have certain categories and properties and conditions. So what I've got here, if I go and look at one of the steel columns, I can go and uh, select on a steel column and look at the properties that it comes through with. And under my properties tabs is all this metadata. Now I'm just gonna go back to the item here and I wanna look at the name and the value. So it's a SC7 CHS. What I can do here inside of the find items tools is select on the actual structural file that's been uh, appended in. And I can go through and I can choose the item tool, choose the, uh, the name. So there's numerous things you can choose from here. I can, can choose a condition and a value. And this is where I wanna find all the uh, SC7 CHS steel columns in this project. So what I can do here is I can type it in and I'll just go SC7 and it will bring it to the top of uh, the search here. And now we have uh, these items that I wanna find and I'll just go and find all and it goes through the model and finds them for me. So if I hide and select it here, I now have all those particular uh, columns and I can actually save that search. So if I call it S uh, SC7-CHS, that's now saved for future um, appending of the model. So let's say I bring in another model and there's more columns or less columns, I wanna search for them again, I can reuse that search. I can also save them out as a selection here. So SC7-CHS, and now that's uh, saved for future use. So uh, really powerful tools can be used through Navisworks, and uh, what is on all, and this will help you manage the data that's coming in 
uh, for future tools for things I'm going to show on later, uh, later overviews, clash detective, timeline, and quantification.